Aquarius, Aquarius reading for the month of June. Aquarius, first card. Six of Swords, Two of Cups, The Empress. Let's shuffle some more. Aquarius. Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Five of Wands, Three of Cups, Chariot, The High Priestess. So Aquarius, your first card is Six of Swords. You are walking away from something. You just realize it no longer serves you or serves its purpose in your life. So you're walking away from something. You're not completely healed, but you've decided to move on with your life. Accept the way things are and move on. And with the two of cups, love is coming your, your way, Aquarius. If it already hasn't, it could also be already in your life. But it is coming if you're single. If you're not single, love is coming your way. With the Empress, it's a beautiful month, abundant, you feel abundant, you can manifest whatever you wish and desire. You feel like you're in your power. You feel like uh, you're at your best. It's a, it's a time where everything is balanced, everything is working well or working the way you intended and you are confident enough in yourself. With the Ten of Swords, it's an ending. Mental torture, mental anxiety, mental worries. It's an ending to that chapter of your life. But with endings, we can always have some moods that still linger on. So with the Four of Cups, you are gloomy from time to time. You retract from the world. And stay in your head a lot. And even sometimes. You could feel like uh, everything you have is not enough. And maybe you need more. Like whatever you have now is not enough and you need more. You may have those feelings. Like it's not enough. You need to manifest more, more things in your life. Love, money, ideas. And with the five of pentacles, you will, you will have people in your life with conflicting opinions about something in your life. You will, you will have this type of view on something and then they have this type of view on something. So you will encounter some very difference in opinions with people around you. Or you may even clash a bit with them not be on the same page much the future looks good you'll be celebrating something could be a graduation could be an engagement could be a marriage could be a wedding you will be celebrating something with your loved ones and people you care about and with a chariot something is moving very very fast in your life it's coming to you very fast very fast could be love. Remember when you said love is coming. Or it already is in your life. Or things in your life will be happening fast. Yeah. If you're in a relationship, things will be moving fast. If you're just meeting someone. Things will be moving very fast. This is a fast moving energy card. So things will be moving very fast. If you have ideas, you'll be thinking very quickly, putting them to action. Fast moving energy. With the high priestess, you will be staying secretive with, uh, with things that are going on in your life. 
For example, your love life. You will be very secretive and keep it to yourself. Uh, even if um, you will not be posting your bae or your boo on social media, something like that. Not be telling people. You'll be secretive about it. If you started a business, you'll be keeping it on the low. If you started something, you'll be very... And you'll also be in tune with your psychic abilities as well. Let's pull out three more cards, Aquarius, for your future. First card, four of swords, five of cups, the tower. With the four of swords, you will be taking some time to rest. Maybe a trip, a vacation or something. Doing something for your, for your mental peace. Relaxing. And with the five of cups, you will be disappointed in something. Something will disappoint you. Could be someone as well. <laughs> that someone you know, someone around you, will disappoint you. And with the tower moment, something is going to happen in your life. That is going to bring you some sort of awakening. Because the tower usually is, comes with a loss. So something very massive is going to happen in your life. I cannot say at this position that it's necessarily a loss. But it's going to be something that stops you to your feet. It stops you to just reconsider things, see things clearly, get some awakening from it. So, Aquarius, your reading looks good. Love is here. 